nice bass. Let's go. Yeah, I got him. Hey, what? Is that? That's a good one. Nice. Oh, that's a nice one. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Norse Outdoors. Today, we're on the river. We're doing a little float. I was a little worried that my battery was dead and then the trolling motor wasn't gonna work, so that's kind of why we planned to do this float. But the trolling motor's back, better than ever. Look at this thing. Oh, how fast were we going up river, Tommy, when this thing was on? It was like two miles an hour. Two miles an hour, up river and against the wind. So we're gonna catch a lot of fish. Um, my name's Alex, we got Tommy in the boat, probably newcomer to the channel, but you remember Wyatt from that spillway video, he's up front. Um, so when we catch a first fish, we will let you know. Stay tuned, it's gonna be a fun one. Square boat, what do we got? It's like a large mouth. Whoa, river largey. River largey. Let's see if I can get in here. Not a bad fish. First 10 minutes really, right? Yeah, holy cow. I don't even know if it's been 10 minutes. Oh. Oh boy. There you go. There you go. 10 inches, maybe. Look at that. What a beautiful fish. There you go. Does that? Yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll cross that later. Yeah. Cross that one. Yeah. How heavy is this boat? Mm. Aluminum. I think we could put it on shore and then all three of us carry it. Probably. Into the, into the mouth there. I think. I, Honestly, I think it's blocked. I don't think it's blocked. That's funny. That's pretty funny. <laughs> we should have checked that. We probably should have. I don't care. We'll figure something out. There it is. I'm on him. Oh. Yeah, we're on him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Man, that thing's big, too. Holy A large God. mouth. That thing Second large big. mouth of the day. Largies. Caught them right off of a piece of submerged timber. That's good. Look at that fish. Man. Beautiful, really. That thing's awesome. Good fish. bass right there, yeah. There it goes. Right when you least expect it, you know. Uh, testing, testing. We're live. That's serious. Oh, yeah. It's a setup. All right. This thing is constantly recording. So what am I fishing with? I've got medium, fast, legend tournament bass spinning. What's that glue that you were using for this? Uh... Oh, I had some Mend It I was using. Oh, Mend It. Yeah. It's usually good for big swim baits. It'll uh, put, the, put the plastic back in. Now we're not sponsored by Mend It, so I have no problem selling, showing you this. That's, that's mend it right there for you. <laughs> so this is the beaver. Yep, there he goes. I wonder if he's got any fish today. Give you guys a view of the graph. It's a Hummingbird 5. It's got down imaging, but not side imaging. Um, and it's been helping us uh, see how deep we are throughout this river. Not really much marking in terms of fish but it's helpful when you're fishing a place you never fished before and want to know if you're about to get beached so pretty sweet setup so what did you do different on this well i got it up in a tree and i popped it a little bit and you actually ate it on the surface wow another large mouth man that brings up our total weight to today to probably a pound I'm talking total weight here. Yeah. There it is. That's the lure. Fire tiger. Tiger square bill. Classic. Just Man. That is so big. Alright, let's get that release. Oh yeah. 
There he goes. What a beautiful fish. Beautiful Iowa fish. Man, beat it, really. that's so good. Can't beat it. <laughs> oh. Classic. Well, we're in two feet back here, so we're good. Let's just sit here and fish. Let's, yeah. Let's fish it out. Man, yeah. I did not see that sandbar. I think we can run through here. Okay. Or around. Yeah, test test uh, to see how deep this little like canal is. Dude, oh, gotta, <laughs> we're going through that. This is a, that's this hilarious. is a good anchor. That's hilarious. That was really funny. <laughs> All right, what happened, Tommy? Well, we were cruising along with your what kind of trolley motor? It's a Minn Kota Traxxas. Oh. 55 pound thrust. It was doing great. Yeah. We're cruising what, two miles an hour or so? Two and a half. Two and a half up, up river. Against the wind. Against the wind. And then all of a sudden I about fell out of the boat. Because <laughs> it come to an abrupt stop. Turns out there's a big sandbar right here. Yeah, here I'll try and. It's kind of hard to see with the glare. But... So we're trying to get in there. You might be able to see the sandbar right in front of Wyatt. We'll get around it. It's kind of working out though. Throw a couple casts in here and uh, catch a. Uh, Hopefully we catch one more. Stay tuned. Good work, Wyatt. <coughs> Sorry. It's that honey bunch of boats, whatever that was. <laughs> <laughs> I had to give it the beans, Tommy. I felt it, let me tell you. All right, so there's that sandbar. Wow, that's a good looking sandbar. Yeah, it is. Wasn't expecting that at all. Okay. Uh -oh. oh. We're, sand we're yeah, sandbar. We'll be all right. We'll just quick off things. Okay, I think we made it, fellas. That was quite the sandbar. Um, I'll kill the muller. I, I need it back over there. Oh, shoot, dude, nice bass. Let's go. Dude, I told you. Here, flip him in. <laughs> Well, that came out of nowhere. Good deal. That's some good meat. Wow, <laughs> spit it right there. Spit it right out. Look at that. Look at that. It's a good fish. Nice. Heck nice yeah. Got him. Nice. How big is he? About, yeah, about, a, about a pound. About a pound? About a pounder. Bad, On a, yeah, we'll get him back and then. On a green pumpkin yeah. gourd jig. In. Yep. He was feisty. That's what he caught it on. That sucker. And uh, Tommy really uh, sounded the dinner bell by. Apparently, I did. Yeah. You're bringing us back, right? Yeah, I'm bringing us back. Okay. Or what? I was, I was just getting out of the water and he jumped at it. That was insane. Wait, what is happening? Yeah, I got him. Hey, look at that. What? Dude. What is happening? Wait, what is happening? Holy cow! That's even bigger than the one I got. Uh oh, oh your We got some issues. <laughs> Save my popper. Not bad. Whoa, and this is some. That's some meat now in the boat. Come on. Good fish. Not bad. Good fish. He came up and freaking. Hit wide again? That's wild. So did you, wait, wait, wait. So did you get your? No, I got it unhooked and then I made a cast into like it. Like right, right away. Yeah, and slowly brought it out and he hit it immediately. That's awesome. That was an interesting one right there. You could take your sunglasses <laughs> off. Do I want to though? Maybe not. That's a different. Yeah, I do too. That's really, a, do I have a lot of confidence that it will? No. I do, actually. You think it will? I do. I you get up there a little closer to shore, you will get one. I agree. Just need to let it blow us in. Ooh, you like that soft, subtle pop? I do, too. It's all about being the softest and subtlest. That's a good one. 
Nice. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh. Oh. oh, oh. Oh, yes. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> Look at that back hook. Just barely hooked him. Wow, just by the hair of his chinny chin chin. Look at that. Pops right off. A good fish. Beautiful. Look at that way. Beautiful, gorgeous. Ooh, he's feisty. Yeah, he is. There he is. That's a pretty good one. Oh, nice, nice. Barely hooked again. Look at that. They're just nibbling on it. They just freaking, they don't want it all. All they want is that back treble. Yeah, that's right. That's this one's very feisty. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, these things are scary. They've got sharp teeth. Well, I know they got sharp teeth. Yeah. Don't want to get by, by I'm actually more scared of my trebles. Yeah. There you the go. Point. Nice. Nice. Well, that might mean it's time to throw this thing. They're back here. All right, guys. Well, as the sun is setting behind me there, we are back at our takeout spot. It's kind of a sweet little paddle. We just floated down most of the river, and then uh, this old trolley motor got us back up at about two miles an hour against the wind and against the current. Ended up getting into some bass, so if you like this kind of content and want to see more, let us know what you want to see. Drop a comment down below, and remember folks, nobody owns the water. We'll catch you on the next one.